What's good, y'all? I want to talk about the whole Benny Siegel did. This is how I feel about it. I know how you... I mean, you can post your comments and tell me how you feel about it. This is how I feel about it. It's like... People can't... You got a business to run. And like... You can be cool with somebody. Let's say you on my label. Me and you, we, we've been friends for like 10 years. But if you're not really hot, I just can't let you... I can't just release you. Like... Because I'm wasting money. I know your CD is not doing that good, but... It's kind of like Benny Siegel hot to me. So regardless, I don't think that was really the problem. Maybe if he like put you know more features and stuff like that, and like Rihanna and different types of artists on there, they could sell. Even like with his new CD, it's kind of sad that he don't even have Memphis Bleak on the new CD. At least you know, I don't think he's on there. Nah, nah, he's not on there. And he don't even have Benny Siegel Freeway. I mean. I mean, take it back to the old days when, you know, Rockefeller was popping. That's kind of sad because, like, a lot of people that, like, was on the label, I mean, they was they was going hard, like Young Chris. Now it's like, okay, I got all this money now. I don't need y'all. And I can see with, like, Beanie Siegel, like, for Jay-Z, he might want to just take that out, just take the loss because I wouldn't even try to, like, respond back or try to come with force because Beanie Siegel right now would just... He's kind of angry. I'd be kind of mad too if I was in jail and like my best friend or uh, my friend Perry didn't even see me, write me, and nothing like that. It's like it's not even about the money. At least see me. Like, how you doing? How you know what's going on, man? You know. And it's like when you and that's why I don't like a lot of rappers. They be like, man, I'm on a label, but are you coming out? Like you can be with a label, but are you coming out? See, that's the difference. Like some people get so much money hungry, money. Money leads to, like, evil, man, you know? Like, some people just, man, I just want the money. And, like, look at Jay-Z now. You know, he balling, you know? Even y'all Jay-Z fans, okay, you Jay-Z fan, you see him balling, but look at Benny Siegel. They still on the streets. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, you like, look at Diddy. He on top right now. Look at Jada Kiss. He he got to drop, like, damn near a lot of CDs, Styles P. They all on the streets. And people are like, man, why they rap so hard? Because they still hungry. They don't have money, like... That's why they never really fell off because they don't have money. Like for example, Lil Flip, when he, you know, he when he first came out, you know, what I'm saying he was he was hot. Now it's like you know he got all his money. I mean he got money. It's not like he's struggling, or whatever. Once you got your money, it's like whatever your your flow get kind of slacking and stuff like that. But they don't really have that much money. I mean they doing fine, but it's like damn, Jay Z can't you know help him out and stuff like that. He can't put him on like a, a verse. To, to get him on tour with him and stuff like that. And like he had a point with the whole 50 cents with the whole G unit and stuff like that. Everybody from G unit, they, they doing kind of good. But when you look at stuff like, you know, like Benny Siegel, it's like, man. Like I would be kind of mad too. Then you call the cops on him. Like, come on, man. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just listening to his word. It's kind of remind me how a uh, comedian said Michael Jordan was an asshole. Sometimes people got to You got to really think about it. Like, I, even me, I was like, Michael Jordan, the asshole. I'm like, man, Chameleon there must be lying. But I'm, I'm thinking to myself, Chameleon there wouldn't lie. I mean, that's Chameleon there. What, what he got to lie for? And I can kind of see why Michael Jordan would be an asshole. You know, like, oh, I'm the best. Can't nobody touch me. you going to charge somebody for $10,000 $10, to get an autograph. Man, that's not even that serious, man. I can see Michael Jordan doing that. So it's like, wow. Some people, they be so into the, oh, I'm a Jay-Z fan, man. He wouldn't do that, man. He just crying on the track. Okay, if I was, if you was with me for like ten years, and I said all this stuff, and all of a sudden I said, "Fuck you, you ain't shit." I take it's kind of like how I tell people, people that's on top right now, you can't really touch them. The bottom people, nobody listen to the bottom people. Oh, they just mad, they just miserable. They want somebody to hold their hands and stuff like that. It's kind of like when you was with the bottom, when you was at the bottom with them, it's like okay, once you got your money, you on top. It's like whatever, you don't need them. Now you act like you better than them because you got a Bentley and more money than them. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Like the whole situation is crazy to me. Like <laughs> for Jay Z, I just take the L, man. Like, real talk, I just take the loss because I wouldn't even want to go against Beanie Siegel. He's too mad right now. You you're not gonna win. So it's like it's a waste of time. I mean, post your comments. Tell me how you feel about it. But like it's so I can just keep on talking about it. But the way it is, a lot of people don't understand. It's like. Damn, if I was with somebody and like, you know, I want a piece of the cut. I mean, damn, you got a lot of, he got a lot of money. He, he can't give him at least like something, man. Like, he just let Rockefeller, he signed all these new rappers and stuff. These new rappers ain't better than no damn Benny Siegel, man. They probably ass. I mean, it's, you know, you got to get a new generation a chance. But come on, man. Benny Siegel, 
Young Chris. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of rappers that was with Rockefeller. That's you know what I'm saying. That was hot. Now it seems like okay, I got money now. I don't need y'all. I'm gonna collab with new artists. I mean, it's good to move around. But damn, what about you? I would, if I had a label, I would try to put my team on first. Then you know, once they on, they got their money up. Bam, I can you know go and move around and stuff like that. But that's fucked up.